Yes. Oh, we could. You could actually sort this. I believe. That's a cool folks. Um. Uh, actually, I want to do make strings. <laughs> I'll just show you. Um. Yeah. So under int counter, we can remove counter. Mm -hmm. yeah, we don't need that. So list. Do a list of strings. This is just how I'm gonna. You could use the make or the results list, but this is how I'm just choosing to do it. So make strings equals list string and it's that uh, create a new one. So um, I'll just add this to the make strings. Make strings dot add. So this will only be called once. So. Um, I or <laughs> I dot make name string okay and then um so I'll comment this out uh, so counter I don't need this code or this code really so I really want to do a raise button which uh, with a child okay so we need we're gonna do a button that loads a dialogue basically of um, of the list of makes so let me think so yeah I'll just do string make title the default title will be choose make So we'll do a text um, box as the child for the raise button. We'll do the make title. And then the arm pressed. We'll do, um, yeah, we'll do a dialogue. So. I don't remember the dialogue. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, let's just, I'm gonna just run this. Choose an egg. Okay, that's fine. So I'm pressed. We want to show it as I'll create a new Dart file. So dialogue, or make dialogue, and actually. And so you could just write state for well actually we do the import material first. Uh huh, imported man. So just start right S T F U L. You just press enter on this. I automatically create that for you. You just start writing just right here, just start typing the class name. So make dialogue. Uh huh, that kind of messed it up. Let's see it. Let's just go do it again. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, make dialogue. You just press enter. I'll make it takes you to the build function. It returns a container at first, but we're gonna return a dialogue since that's what we need to show. So child. Text, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll just do this for now. I'm trying to think is this no, this can't be right. Yeah, okay, I know it. <laughs> it's show dialogue. That's what it is. Okay. So context, context. Actually I don't like it. <laughs> So I just have to, this is how I like to visualize it, so. Um, then builder. So yes, this right here. So build context. Okay. 
Okay, so um, we need to return the uh, make dialog. So we'll just do that right now. We'll just test it. So if you remember, I put a text. So I'll just test. So click it should show a dialog with test. See, and it's so small. It's just doing it. It's doing it to the height of the. Um, Test. <laughs> I went to the text box. Okay. So uh, now we need to pass this data. We need to pass the make strings to the make dialog so we can display them. And so um, what we'll do is just copy this right here and then put it in make dialog. Uh, right above override. So instead of this title, we change this my homepage to make dialog, and this um to make strings. We'll do list string uh make strings. So basically, this is what we're passing the data. And it complains because it wants it to be final. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, so we'll pass the make strings to this. So make strings this dot make strings. And all right, so um, yeah, okay. So we'll just we'll do this as a list view builder. So list view dot builder item builder. Uh, just like a bit. So yeah, this is where we return the, we'll do a list tile, we'll do the title, and so, um, we'll do the item, or item count, yeah, so as widget.makestrings.length, so, then under item builder we'll get the the string. We don't even need to do that honestly. Yeah, we need it for something else. So we'll do um title equals um widget dot make strings and then we're passing the index so and then we'll just do that. We'll just add the title. <laughs> it needs to be a widget, so a text title. So let's check this out. So when we click this, it should show the list of uh, makes in the dialog. And when we click this, we want it to won't show now because it needs the on tap, but we want it to disappear. <laughs> we wanted to close, sorry. So on tap, yeah. I get that and the on press is confused between the raise button. So um so on tap you can do navigator dot pop. And that should make it close when you um open or when you click on a this tile and also gives it the the splash effect when you click it so yeah so now we want to pass the um, make string back to the um, to this widget to the my home page widget 
and change this text to be the text of the make string that was passed <laughs> okay so we use the value use the value changed uh, I'll put one okay value change um, string um, click to make I guess you can call it so use value change um, is it like this So we need to pass a value change to it. So, um, so right here. So use value change. Um, call that. What's we'll name it that? So. I forgot. <laughs> Let me check the syntax. Okay. Flooded value change. So it says it right here. So value change. Okay. Well, actually, I don't even need to pass it. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Because we can just where is it on okay, so yeah, we don't need to pass it honestly, so so we just need to um what is it click what do make call back instead of. Okay. Uh, we need to just uh, uh, make all that. Okay. That should be rid of that error. And then we need to right here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so make. Um. So um. So for the make callback, you just do sort of like the how we did the then up here. Pass the value is pretty much sort of the same. So we'll just print the make. We'll just print the value. I'll just do that. Uh, make chosen was value. So yeah, we'll do that. And we actually have to call it in here. So on tap before it pop. Um, do widget dot make callback dot uh, you just pass the title okay so let's run this let's choose let's choose to make BMW make chosen was BMW so now we need to um, set the make title Set every time you call set state, we need to call set state to call build again because it's build function. Every time you call set state, it calls. Oh, it actually says it right here. I didn't, I never I actually never saw this. So, this method is rerun every time set state is called, for instance. Or, well, yeah, they're talking about increment counter, but yeah, when we call set state, it will rebuild this. So, we'll set the make title. To this value, so then it will call um, build again, which the new make title. It won't change make title to the original state. It'll do it to the new state. So we'll just show it real quick. Okay, so um, yeah, we'll choose a make Toyota. So now we change it to to um to Toyota. So next we'll um, <laughs> do the same thing with the model class. We'll just pass the make to the model API. And there's basically pretty much the same step steps. I the only extra step is passing the make to the model. So we'll create another button 
um, to choose the model next. Um, yeah, and then after that, we'll do it. We'll make a input box with um, text, or you can enter the van and pull the cars to auto auto populate. Um, we'll use the van to auto populate the make a model. And then after that, we'll do the um, barcode scanning, where you scan the van automatic. And after you scan the van, we'll automatically call the API and automatically populate this make a model. All right. So yeah, we'll stop right now for right now.